This is Claudia Sajus. And this smooth, buttery voice is Damien Hernandez. And today we're going to speak about the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living. Uh, Claudia, what was your initial like feeling looking at this? Right when I saw this piece, I was scared. I I was very scared. Looking at this shark, it felt like it was really looking at me, and it felt like it was ready to attack me. I was really scared, and it looked so real. It looked like I was in the water with it, and it was just coming for me. Oh, I you know I, I can see why you would see that. Um, I had a sense of pride, you know, as a human seeing this. You know, as at the age of twelve, I was attacked by a shark, and oh, my God. you know that's why I have this peg leg. You didn't see me limping earlier, yeah. so you know serves him right. You know, good good for Damien Hurst for catching this son of a gun, and putting him in a tank, and for all of us to see and for our entertainment. Oh, but yes, anyways, yeah, I was going to rant. Um, a quick. Quick introduction to Damien Hurst. He was born in Bristol and later moved to Leeds. Um, he studied in London at Goldsmith and for fine arts. But while there, he, you know, worked in construction, which I find interesting. You know, author Robert Greene in his book Mastery, he mentions that people that work with their hands, you know, construction workers, you know, plumbers, you know, people that, you know, labor workers, they can, they're more, more apply knowledge a lot easier just because they use their body. You know, this probably, you know, transferred over into his building his structures and, you know, whatnot. Well, just to tie into that, um, as a teenager, he would visit Leeds Medi- Medical School, and he would actually go to the, to the anatomy department, and he would look at dead, dead things, and this is where he would get ideas for his drawings, actually. And there's actually a photo of him, and it's called With Dead Head. Oh, God. Yes, oh, and it was taken in 1981, and you can see he's young here. Ew. And you can see how fascinated he is oh, my God. with this dead head literally sitting right by him. The smell yet alone must, it, it's just. He's close enough to kiss it. But yes. let's go back to the one again. I'm yes, getting yes. nauseous. Mm. Um, what was the process of, you know, making this thing? I feel like it was very tedious, you know, it's not an easy thing to do. Well, you know, actually, the first shark, Hearst was not satisfied with it. He said it looked unrealistic. He he was he did not he did not like it at all. So they actually shipped in a new shark. And instead of um adding just form formaldehyde to the frame, they actually injected the body of the shark with formaldehyde, and they also soaked the body in a bath for two weeks of, with 7% formalin solution. Mm, very. Yeah. I'm glad you remember those numbers. Very convenient. Um, I'd like to look at the other pieces with sharks. You know, here we have um, John Singleton Copley's piece, Watson and the Shark. Yes. You know, this is very different compared to Damien Hurst. Damien Hurst's shark is very much dead. In these pieces, you know, in this piece, the shark is alive. You know, the shark he, has the power. Yeah, he he is a bringer of death. And look at this poor soul. Yeah. You know, got a little tipsy. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. <laughs> yeah. And he just totally fell off the boat. And you know, he's he's done for. But his boy is about to spear this shark. Uh, here's another piece by. By Winslow Homer, uh, Gulf Stream. You know, like like the other piece. You know, this poor man is stuck in the middle of the ocean with sh- sharks surrounding him. Yeah, like you I, can see all the sharks, and you can see him looking over. He looks scared. I would be terrified. Yeah, you know these. Like I mentioned earlier, these sharks are bringers of death. Yes. You know, whereas Damien Hurst, you know, he shows that no matter how powerful something is. It has a death, you know. It will come to an end, yeah. and you know I feel like that's what he was trying to portray. That's probably why he didn't like the first shark, you know, that he felt it didn't look realistic, and and then the second shark, he 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 portrayed death a lot easier. Well, that about wraps it up here. Um, my cat food is coming back with a vengeance. So till next time, Claudia. It's always a joy, Damien. So long and farewell.